All right, in this video, we're going to learn how to find the determinant and the inverse of, mat of a matrix, of a, more specifically, a two by two matrix. Now, if we have this matrix A, B, C, D here, we're going to find the determinant, and we can show it a couple different ways. We can say D, E, T, A for determinant A, or we could find the determinant, and sometimes people like to write it in straight bars rather than the brackets. So that means the same thing. So finding the determinant of A and this, those are the same thing. So basically what we do here is remember we just multiply, cross multiply. So we're going to do A times D minus, and we're going to multiply the other way, B times C. That's it. That's the determinant. So let's give you a real example of real numbers. So let's say A is going to be the matrix um, 2, negative 3, 3, and 5. So again, we're going to cross multiply this way first, and you do have to put it this way first. So 2 times 5 is just 10. All right, that's easy. Minus. And now we cross multiply the other way. Negative 3 times 3 is going to give me negative 9. And now I subtract negative 9 from the 10. Remember, when you subtract a negative, it's addition. So 10 plus 9 is 19. So the determinant of A is 19. Okay, that's not too difficult for a 2 by 2 matrix. Now, to find the inverse of a matrix, we're going to use that determinant. So find the inverse. And I'm going to start off again with the A, B, C, D. I'm going to write that a little bit better. So A, B, C, D. There, it's a little bit spread out. So find the inverse. Well, first we need to take find the determinant. So we're, and then we're going to put it over one or under one. So one over the determinant. I'm sorry, I should have denoted this a inverse. So that to the power of negative one means the inverse of a. So a inverse of a b c d. We're first going to have to find the determinant and put it underneath one, and then we're going to multiply that. So that's a scalar scalar multiplication, which we have covered already. And now we're going to multiply that to a different matrix. So we're just going to switch this matrix up just a little bit. So all we do, we switch the positions of A and D. So we'll have D and A here. And now these, B and C, we just switch the signs. So we're going to have the opposite of B, which we show as negative B, and the opposite of C, which is negative C. And I just realized that's an ugly D right there. Um... So that there, that's a D. It's ugly. Live with it. You'll get over it. Now, let's look at this. The determinant. We've learned how to do that. For a 2 by 2 matrix, it's not that difficult. We put it underneath 1, and we're just basically doing scalar multiplication. So with this is stuff that we know how to do, but we just have to get used to the operation of it. So if we wanted to find the A or the inverse of A, and let's now give us some real numbers. And so let's do the inverse of 6, 1, 0, 4. Fair enough. So to find the determinant, we're going to put that under 1. So we're going to have 1 over the determinant. So we're going to have 6 times 4 is 24 minus 1 times 0 is 0. Then we're going to multiply that to the matrix. Remember, this is going to be a little mixed up matrix. So what we do is we switch the 6 and the 4 around. So instead of 6 and 4, we'll have 4 and 6. And then we change these two values, the diagonal values, the red diagonal, to their opposites. So we'll get a negative 1 and negative 0. 0 does not have an opposite, it's just 0. So we're going to keep that as 0. Okay. So let's simplify that down just a little bit more. We know that 24 minus 0 is still 24. And now we're just going to multiply by that scalar. So again, we just distribute that to each of the terms. So, 4 times 1 over 24. We get 4 over 24. 
then we'll have negative 1 over 24. Anything times 0 is just 0. And then 6 over 24. Now, your math teacher would not like it if you left it like this because we have fractions that we can simplify. So let's go ahead and simplify the fractions. Remember how to do that, but not too hard. Both 4 and 24 can be divided into each other. So the greatest common factor is 4. So we divide those, we reduce them by 4, and we get 1 sixth. Okay? Negative 1 24th, that cannot be reduced. 0 obviously cannot be reduced. And 6 and 24 are both factors of, well, 6 or 24 is a factor of 6, so we can reduce both numbers by 6, and it would be 1 fourth. And so there is the inverse of the matrix A. So again, this is the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. Remember, let's recap real quick. Find the determinant, put it underneath 1, and then multiply it to that little mixed up matrix. So we switch the A and the D around and make the B and the C their opposites. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed.